530, some big changes to the state's sex offender registry. The state forced to delete dozens of dangerous sex offenders from its database, and it's all because of a decision from the state's highest court. Now, tonight, a lot of people worry what will happen as a result of this decision. Beth Germano has the story new at 530. They are faces of predators, with lists of their charges on public view in most police stations. And anyone can use the state registry to search for sex offenders in their community. But many of these names are now being removed from the Internet database due to a state high court decision that will grant many of these offenders new hearings about their classification. We've had hundreds that have come off already. Um, I've, I've heard reports of 40 a day. Honestly, uh, it's almost impossible for us to gauge how many are coming off a day. The court says it's considering the consequences when offenders are classified and has ordered a higher legal standard to determine if an offender is level one, two, or three. And until the process is complete, the system is wiped of their name. I feel like they're, they're protecting the rights of the offender and definitely leaving the public more vulnerable. Just last week in Walpole, a level three sex offender moved into this neighborhood. Police distributed flyers and information to nearby residents, something they wouldn't be able to do if the offender was declassified. This neighbor did not want to be identified. If they have a, a record of, of con consistent uh, activity, I think that th there's probably no help and that they're just uh, putting them out there to, to do it again without people knowing about it. The rush to reclassify old cases and consider pending new ones has now created a backlog and the state board says it could take as long as two years to sort it out and get some of these names published again. It just creates more of a um, environment for them to, to you know be a predator and which is why the board says it will move as quickly as possible so neighborhoods can stay informed in Walpole Beth Germano WBZ News